Hello everyone, welcome back to Sega Mega Drive Classics. So today we are going to be checking out some hacks from the Community Workshop. So the first mod up is called Sonic Mega Mix 2. And let me tell you right now that this is not Sonic Mega Mix 2. So for those of you who don't know, Sonic Mega Mix for the Mega Drive is possibly the greatest Sonic hack ever made. And if it isn't, it's definitely in the top 5, without question. So. This hack doesn't do much outside of recoloring some stages, and there are some tabs for Mighty and Knuckles in the options menu, however, picking either of them will just result in you getting Shadow the Hedgehog with no special moves. This one, in my opinion, is not worth trying out. It's just one of those fan made games slash hacks that people like to create to uh, help boost their game off the success of somebody else's you know, great title like Sonic Mega Mix. So I think it's kind of a scumbag move to call this uh, hack Sonic Mega Mix 2, and I personally just think it's garbage and that you shouldn't try it out. I would be less, you know, uh, brutal with it. I would think that I would, you know, be less upset with it if it was just called something else. But the fact that you called it Sonic Mega Mix 2 and it's not even good just makes the title even worse. So next is Sonic 2 Secret Zones. To get started with this mod, you need to use the level select code and then select the Secret Zones tab in the level select menu. So I played all of these stages and I think that all of them are great. Most of these stages are rumored or scrapped Sonic 2 stages that are put in here like, you know, Dust Hill Zone and the Wood Zone. So I like the choice of music that they use for the stages as well. So, like, a lot of the music that's in this game is from the two-player mode. So, uh, the level's design is also good, but I feel that it can be improved slightly. Just in some of the areas, at times, I felt like the uh, there were parts of the stage that were just empty. And most of the enemy enemies that are placed in this game are actually pretty well-placed. So, the length of these stages are also spot-on. You know, they feel very similar to the official stages with the way you can just kind of run through them and be aggressive and finish them in about a minute's time. So the only major problem that I had with this hack is that you have to use the level select in order for you to play the stages. You cannot just bump into them normal by, you know, playing through the one player campaign or whatever. So I would have preferred them to just be added to the existing stage list, you know, so you could just, you know, start at Emerald Hill and, you know, proceed through the game and eventually play all of the, all of these stages. But unfortunately, the only way to access these stages is, you know, 1965, 917 at the sound test to access the stage select. So I think outside of that, it would have been a good hack. But I think just the fact that you have to use level select in order to get access to these stages is enough to make me not want to keep it. Next is Rystar in the Streets of Rage 2. Rystar is the Sega character from the game, Rystar. Uh, he will use the same sprites from that game as he replaces Max. So Max in the Streets of Rage 2 is the big body wrestler character, so all of his abilities and stats will be transferred to Rystar, like the atomic drops and the suplexes. Since Rystar's sprites may look a little odd at times, uh, it may look a little weird. Uh, the good thing about this is that all of Max sprites are replaced, so you will always see Rystar no matter what mod that you do. He even has his Starburst dash move when using a special. I had this hack for a while, and I really enjoy it. So, if you can find the ROM version of this mod, more power to you. Uh, I think it's a great mod overall, and that's the main reason why I kept it. So. That's going to do it for me. I'll provide the links for all of these mods in the description if I can. These are all free as long as you have the game that you're trying to add mods to. So I thank you all for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.